Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Python Lab. Uh, this uh, tutorials we are going to learn about probability density functions. In the last uh, tutorials, we have seen that uh, probability mass functions. So uh, in this regard, probability uh, mass functions uh, uh, calculating the discrete random variables, but uh, Probability density functions is define the probability distributions of continuous random variables and span across all possible values that the given random variable can take on. Because random variables, uh, there are two types of random variables, uh, discrete random variables and continuous random variables. The discrete random variables are the values uh, countable and in continuous random variables, the values are uncountable. For example, Women's height represents continuous random variable because uh, it may be in uh, a decimal point. As for example, 158.5 centimeter tall. This is a continuous, not a random, not countable. After the decimal number, there is an uh, uh, uncountable number of pointers. Okay, so uh, in probability density functions, we can count calculate the continuous random variables, the probability of continuous random variables using Python. Uh, here we can uh, see the graph, uh, a probability density function in this graph is a curve across all possible values the random variable can take on. And the total area uh, under this curve uh, are equal to one. The total, so this is the curve, the curve graph in uh, uh, this uh, continuous random variable, uh, which is the probability of this continuous. This is the wedges, I mean, the curve uh, represented the wedges, uh, the area of the curve represented the wedges. Uh, the total area of this curve is equal to one, equal to one. So, uh, in a probability density function, we cannot calculate the probability at a single point. For example, in a, we cannot calculate the probability at a point negative three, minus three. It, it, it is a zero, it is zero. This is because the area of the curve underneath a single point is always zero, a single point. So the area of the curve, area I represent there is, uh, some uh, ranges, intervals in the area. So if it is at a single point, it, it cannot be uh, calculate the probability, the probability at, it, at that uh, single point. Okay, so this, uh, for example, in the, uh, the areas under uh, minus three, uh, two is probability 0 0.2 something, 0 0.2 something. Uh, the whole area is 0 0.99, that is one, one. Uh, let's look at uh, minus three to minus two, that's 0 0.02275. That is the probability in this regard. So uh, as you can see this uh, graph, uh, the, uh, the interval becomes smaller, the probability of the interval becomes smaller. Uh, the weights of the area of the curve also uh, smaller. The weight is, this is, the weight is uh, become smaller when the interval uh, of the probability is uh, becomes uh, smaller. It is the area under the curve. Uh, so uh, when trying to evaluate the area under the curve at a specific point, the weight of that area becomes zero. And therefore the probability equals zero. This is the probability uh, becomes zero. We can also calculate the area under this curve uh, using cumulative distribution function for the given probability function. So we use uh, cumulative distribution function for calculating discrete random variables also. So we can also use this uh, discrete uh, cumulative dis distribution function for calculating the probability of uh, the area under the curve uh, in density 
uh, distributions in the city, uh, continuous variables. But uh, we use a normal distribution in continuous random variable, but in discrete random variables, we use a binomial distribution because there are two uh, possible outcomes, either zero or one in uh, binomial distribution. But here there is no uh, uh, binomial or there is no binary uh, representation or there is no uh, accountable values in this case. For example, heights fall under a type of probability distribution called a normal distribution. The parameters for the normal distributions are the mean and the standard deviations. In, in, nor in normal distribution, the parameters we use for calculating the areas under the curve is mean and standard deviations mean and the standard deviation. Here, the mean is uh, zero in this case. Look, the center of the area, the center of the area is the mean of this uh, uh, graph, the area under the curve. And we use the form norm uh, mean standard deviation as a shorthand. And we know that the women's heights have a mean of 167.64 centimeter with a standard deviation of eight centimeter, which makes them fall under the normal uh, in short time. So let's calculate this. Let's say uh, we want to know the probability that if a randomly chosen woman is less than 158 centimeter tall, let's see this, the blue uh, uh, shaded area, area. So the women, uh, this is the heights, uh, the women's heights in centimeter and the probability uh, uh, which is chosen uh, less than 158 centimeters from uh, this, we can calculate this. Uh, we, can, we can use the cumulative distribution function to calculate the area under the probability density function curve from zero to 158 centimeter. Find that probability. We can calculate the area of the blue region, in this case, from the graph in Python using norm dot cdf cumulative distribution function from the status uh, scipy dot stats library the, so the, the most important especially for statistics so here uh, i have uh, imported this and uh, this method can take three values uh, the value of interest that is uh, randomly selected values randomly selected values and uh, log is the mean of the probability distribution, the probability distribution. So uh, in this case, the mean of the probability distribution is 167 uh, point. Uh, this is the mean is the center of this distribution, the center. And the, the standard deviation is also uh, eight centimeter, eight centimeter. That is a scale, the standard deviation of the probability distribution. Now let's write the probability, uh, the, function to calculate the probabilities uh, of uh, this density distribution. CDF uh, 158 is the, the randomly selected uh, women from zero to 158 centimeter tall. And 167.4 is the, the center of the distribution. Distribution, the center of the distribution, or that is the mean. And the standard division is eight centimeter and now we can print this result. That is 0 0.11, that is around 0 0.11, uh, 0 0.11 probability. And uh, we can also calculate uh, the probability uh, density functions uh, over the range using cumulative distribution function. The probability density function and cumulative distribution functions, uh, uh, we can take the difference between the two overlapping ranges to calculate the probability that a random selection uh, will be within a range of values for continuous distribution. This is essentially the same process as calculating the probability of a range of values for discrete random distributions. We've seen in the previous uh, tutorials. Uh, let's try to see an example. Uh, the weather uh, in Addis Ababa follows the normal distribution with the mean of uh, 20 degrees Celsius and a standard deviation of three degrees. What is the probability that a weather on a randomly selected day uh, will be uh, in between uh, 80 to 25 degrees Celsius? 
it is a range over, so we can calculate this. Uh, the, we can find the probability in between 80 to 25 degrees Celsius, which is uh, uh, the mean of the uh, normal distribution is uh, 20 degrees Celsius and the standard deviation is three. Let's calculate. Plus norm CDF. The first, let's uh, uh, calculate the probability of 25 degrees Celsius, uh, which is the mean 20 uh, degrees Celsius, and the standard deviation is three degrees Celsius. And we can subtract this, uh, the probabilities of 80 degrees Celsius. Now we can uh, print this. That is 69.9% uh, uh, or 0 0.699 uh, degree and uh, probability is. Uh... Okay, uh, the second question is we using the same weather information, uh, which is uh, in Addis Ababa, uh, having 20 degrees Celsius uh, mean and three degree, uh, degrees uh, standard deviation. So find the probability that the weather on a randomly selected day will be greater than uh, 24 degrees Celsius. In this case, the sum of the total uh, probability of uh, whole uh, weather uh, condition is one. So we can subtract uh, 20 degrees Celsius, the probability of 20 uh, degrees Celsius from one, and you get that uh, probability greater than 24 degrees Celsius. One minus stats dot norm dot CDF twenty four T N E and sorry. That is zero point zero nine. Zero point zero nine is the probability which is greater than uh, twenty four degrees Celsius. So uh, the randomly selected day will be greater than this. That is the probability of this one. So this is uh, all about the lessons about distribution for machine learning, uh, uh, the probability density functions and the cumulative distribution functions. Thanks for watching.